We've seen cases dismissed over evidence issues or when an officer doesn't show up to court. But in Bernalillo County, data from the district attorney's office shows the number one reason is a victim failing or refusing to cooperate in the case. In a KRQE investigation, Ann Perret shows you how this is turning criminals loose back out onto the streets. Walk back. Keep those hands in the air. Albuquerque police are approaching Christopher Gutierrez. Smith's employees told officers he shot at them after they asked him to leave the store. Now you're detained for aggravated assault. I, 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 this happening about two weeks after APD arrested him for armed robbery at a liquor store down the street. But that charge was dropped because the employee he's accused of threatening to kill at gunpoint told prosecutors he wouldn't cooperate and, quote, wished for this case to be dismissed. There's nothing more frustrating for our, for our police officers and our detectives to apprehend someone, arrest them, take them to jail, and for that person to be let out. Commander Aaron Jones says the frustration increases because as with Gutierrez, APD is bound to encounter them again. We've seen it, yes, multiple times. When he became the Investigative Services Division Commander in 2021, Jones says victims backing out was an obvious trend, specifically in shooting cases. He points to three reasons why. The victim is involved in criminal activity, fears retaliation, or doesn't trust the justice system. Whether it's law enforcement, whether it's the, the DA's office or the courts, it's just um, a perception. Still, Commander Jones says they try, even mailing a letter to the victim's home and having victim advocates reach out to encourage participation in the case and in some instances to make sure they're not out for revenge. Today's victim can be tomorrow's offender. Um, and so we want to make sure that we're doing what we can to prevent that from happening. Commander Jones started tracking victim cooperation in 2022, specifically for non-fatal shootings that are not domestic violence related. Of the 302 cases, he found about a quarter of the victims chose not to cooperate. In many instances, that meant APD couldn't ask the district attorney for charges. You know, as far as prosecution goes, we can't step in on their behalf on some of these instances because they're still around to testify and be the accuser um, in a court setting. Right Which is why even a recorded interview of the victim recounting what happened can't stand alone in court. Did you see the gun? Did I see the gun? Yeah. Okay. I saw yourself. it and I ducked. This is the aftermath of a road rage shooting at an Albuquerque Walmart in July 2021. The police report states two brothers, Adil and Shaheen Syed, followed a driver and admitted to shooting at his car about 11 times in the parking lot before taking off. Window, windshield. Neither one was charged because APD says the victim didn't cooperate. We'd hear their names again a year later as their dad was charged with murdering three Muslim men. Police are investigating if Shaheen helped. Meanwhile, the feds charged him for lying to obtain a gun. When someone is an offender of violent crime, uh, if there's no meaningful intervention of that, whatever that looks like, uh, it is extremely likely that they will be offend an offender in the future of violent crime. And just in the last few weeks. State of New Mexico versus Eric Ford. Eric Ford is charged with murdering a man at this gas station February 11th. Police say the victim intervened when Ford hit the clerk. Court records show he'd previously shot someone in 2019, but nearly a year into that case moving through the courts, the victim didn't want to participate anymore. The court dropped those charges. I think our system doesn't do a good job of really nurturing victims through the process. Our, our system is very burdensome for victims and it, it fatigues them. Adolfo Mendez is now with the attorney general's office, but we spoke with him before he finished his sixth year as the Bernalillo County DA's chief of policy and planning. So it didn't surprise me that we were seeing victims and witnesses uh, stop participating down the down the line. He says the issue is the number of times victims have to tell their story. Besides reporting to police and taking the witness stand, Mendez says only in New Mexico, pretrial interviews are also required. That's questioning by the defense outside a courtroom setting. 
if we were to do criminal justice from scratch and criminal procedure from scratch, I don't think we would include that in the process. Mendez says victims will also back out when the suspect is let out of jail before trial. Half as many will continue to participate when a detention motion is denied. Once the violence rises to murder, they typically don't get out of jail. But that's too late for the next round of victims. Ann Perrette, KRQE Investigates. You heard the commander mention APD has advocates who reach out to victims to encourage them to testify in the case. The DA's office has a similar team. It's made up of almost 40 staffers and volunteers, and they're always looking for more.